Welcome back. Every day, 17 veterans across the country take their own life. That is a significantly higher rate than the civilian population. Veteran and executive director of Mission Roll Call, Cole Lyle, joins us now with more. Cole, thanks so much for being with us. Tell us more about your experience and the purpose of Mission Roll Call. Yeah, well, first of all, uh, Dr. Cross, thank you for having me on. Uh, Mission Roll Call was founded several years ago. Um, suicide prevention is its number one priority. We poll veterans across the United States um, about issues affecting them, and suicide prevention is resoundingly the number one issue um, that we feel is most important to the population and the people that we, we discuss and we talk to. I got involved um, a few years ago. I had my own suicide attempt. Mm -hmm. um, I got involved in veteran advocacy. Uh, I worked in the U.S. Senate on veteran policy. I worked at the Department of Veterans Affairs. I came over to Mission Roll Call um, after the withdrawal in Afghanistan last year. I could already see the significant negative mental health effects that it was having on the veteran community. I myself had to talk down a couple of my friends from suicide. So it's an issue that I'm personally familiar with, and I've seen it from a lot of different angles. Um, and I, you know, Mission Roll Call, we advocate on behalf of the people on our lists. Uh, for your viewers, they can go to missionrollcall.org or follow us on our social channels to get more information. But we communicate the needs uh, of these veterans directly to policymakers in Washington, D.C., to try to advocate for sensible policy that, that can really help reduce this epidemic. Cole, I can't thank you enough for your transparency. I know it is going to help people. What do you believe is the biggest misconception about veterans? Because from the outside looking in, it's like your soldiers, you suit up, you head towards danger. But then we see that they are definitely dealing with things internally as well. Right. I think the biggest misconception is most Americans think that um, they view veterans as either heroes or ticking time bombs that, that are dysfunctional and, um, and, and can't function in, in society, which isn't the case, right? Um, and I think that it's understandable most Americans don't have uh, really a good frame of reference because military service is becoming a family business. Um, so we try to highlight veteran stories across the United States to try to help make the data and those numbers um, stick to policymakers in D.C. But I would encourage anybody watching to, to, you know, get involved in a veteran organization, mm -hmm. um, get to know a veteran, and, and learn more about their service and their struggles. Because the only way we can honor their service and their sacrifice is to make sure we never forget that. It is so true, Cole. Thank you so much for your service, for your commitment to this cause, and for joining us this afternoon. Such an important conversation. We appreciate you. Absolutely. Thank you, Dr. Cross. Community advocates are also helping veterans across the state find a job. In fact, the unemployment.